Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night. November 22nd, 2024 is the date. 10.03 p.m. California time. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.1 in the uh, Hawaii area. Better make sure the bells are on. Looks like they were off. Sorry about that. Uh, California has seen some earthquake activity earlier with a 3.8 earthquake shaking the area outside of Malibu earlier this afternoon. Now that earthquake coming in about 6.6 .6 miles deep. Originally coming in as a 3.5, I believe, so they've upgraded a little bit. Uh, a few folks out there in the area of Malibu, Los Angeles, even down to Huntington Beach feeling some shaking out there uh, with this 3.5. Uh, as far as any further movement, looks like a little 1.8. About uh, 10 minutes or so later following that 3.8. Uh, aside from that, if we look at the 2.5 map and above, that's about the only earthquake there above that level. So mostly smaller microquake activity out here today. Uh, a little bit of uptick here across the Malibu Fault uh, zone right here. But aside from that, uh, things are relatively quiet out here across the rest of the state. Uh, this little area down here across the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, those are hydrothermal plants. Uh, through the Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet as well. I'm going to check out the trimmer map here tonight and see what we have for Cascadia trimmer. And uh, zero, a big zero once again. It's been that way for the past few days. We've seen uh, some elevated trimmer out activity out here in the last uh, few months or so. Um, but nothing as large as uh, some of these other amounts here throughout the years. Uh, what that means, I don't know. Sometimes we get a little bit of quiet period uh, for the trimmer activity, and then things start to really uptick. But uh, obviously, trimmer does play a major part uh, with the Cascadia subduction zone in terms of strain and stress. And uh, it's just it's quiet for now. Not a whole lot going on there for trimmer activity, nor the uh, earthquake activity out there. Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet, aside from a couple smaller quakes out there. Uh, let's give a quick uh, little glance here at the um, Yellowstone overview Let's see what we have some wind events earlier looks like that has died off as far as earthquake activity goes a handful of earthquakes out here in the little spiky range those are super small earthquakes probably a, a 0.1 maybe a 0.2 or so but uh, not a whole lot going on out there across Yellowstone for now in terms of earthquake activity rest of the country pretty quiet as well there's that earthquake outside of uh, uh new jersey uh, actually in the new jersey area earlier this morning a little one pointer all right as far as anything major going on here since this morning's update uh, not a whole lot it's actually been eerily quiet in terms of any recent uh, larger scale adjustment uh, a lot of small little circles here on the uh, earthquake globe indicating, you know, fairly minor earthquake activity out here. Um, Hawaii's kicked up a little bit. Let's go check out Hawaii real quick, see what's going on out here across the Pahala area. Uh, earlier today, let's see, I know there was a three-pointer out there. It looks like a 3.2. couple threes out there underneath the Pahala area. Leading off slowly towards the Loihi Seamount, but I mean, we've been watching that off and on here over the last couple months. Um, nothing has changed, just a lot of deeper activity underneath this region. Uh, let's see here, let's go back to the Earthquake 3D Globe. Little swarm here, little swarm off the coast of. Um, is that going to be Morocco out off here? It does look like out in the uh, Morocco area, some movement out around the Canary Islands. Uh, not for sure if that's volcano related or not. Uh, let's bring up the EMSC model here and see what we have for that area. I'm still not impressed with their redesign. That's off here on the western edge of this. Uh, I believe that's a volcanic feature out there. Let me uh, pull up the... Um, where am I going? I should go this way, right? <laughs> Quicker. Uh, let's see here. Probably right around this area. Frontera, it looks like. 
Um, obviously some volcanic islands out here, Canary Islands. Not for sure if there's anything going on in terms of uh, newer volcano activity out there. Let's, uh, let's see if we got anything new going on here. Uh, Killer Whale Volcano, of course, that's been off and on here for a little while. It's, I mean, that's really not going on in terms of eruption. Uh, it's just uh, active underneath the area. Um, Canary Islands, I don't, I don't see anything recent out here. Nothing showing up here on the uh, volcano site. You can either check that one out. You can go to uh, Volcano uh, Discovery is the other one. I thought I had that bookmarked, but maybe not. Uh, I did. Somewhere. Somewhere in my hundreds of bookmarks there. Um, November 23rd. Not for sure exactly where that one's at. There's always volcanoes throughout the um, Indonesia Islands area. It looks like the Philippines, Indonesia, um, Mexico area. I'm not seeing anything, though, on um, the activity off the coast there in Morocco. So it looks like just maybe a little bit of earthquake activity popping off there. We'll definitely watch that. The, uh, the rest of the Atlantic, pretty quiet. Still got Iceland up there uh, with the ongoing eruption there. Um, aside from that, what's going on down here? There looks like a, another 2.8 and a 3.6. Was there a couple threes down there? It looks like maybe south of the border here. Uh, a little bit of movement showing up. I don't think the USGS is reporting those as a, as a, a three-pointer. Uh, there's a couple earthquakes in there above the 2.5 level. So... But really nothing major going on, folks. It, it's a little quiet. There's a little clustering going on up here across the Aleutian Trench. Remember a couple videos back, I said to watch this area potentially uh, for some larger adjustment. Throughout the years, you know, the decades, we've seen a lot of larger activity out here. And this is a region eh, somewhat lacking uh, recent large-scale activity. I know back in 2021, we had an eight-pointer, uh, I think it was back over here but certain segments of the Aleutian Trench here closer uh, to the Gulf of Alaska within this zone are uh, somewhat uh, missing larger quakes so that's a seismic gap and eventually that will fill in uh, super deep earthquake here across the uh, northern Mariana Islands that's gonna be this quake right here 215 miles deep underneath this area uh, that's fairly recent as well 4.3 so we'll watch the Filipino plate out here it's been it's been pretty active out here from Taiwan south we're a little clustering going on across the area but uh, no big no big movement to take note of for right now a couple active regions out there on the eastern limb of the Sun throwing off a whole bunch of magnetic arches and whatever that may be um, gonna get a better view of that here in the coming days 3906, 3905, a cluster of sunspots here that uh, are somewhat fairly complex. I think we're going to see some, uh, a little bit of amplification there of some uh, solar flares <coughs> in the coming days. So we'll definitely watch for that. Um, and there's a couple other areas out there on the northeastern area of the sun, too, that uh, looks like it's a little brighter, indicating some uh, complex sunspots out there. We'll definitely watch that. Right now, flare threat has been bumped up a little bit to about a 15% chance for the X-flare, M-flare at 60, C-flare around 99% chance or so. And the moon, well, we're not seeing it out here in California. We still have uh, some rain coming in. No major roars in the forecast. Storm Prediction Center for severe weather, not a whole lot. Just some thunderstorm activity out there, maybe across northern California and um, into Idaho, it looks like. But really, not a whole lot going on. Here's the current radar image here, updated just like, looks like about three, well, right now, actually, 10.13 p.m. 
Um, some showers still making their way into Northern California here. We'll put this into motion. Oh, this is kind of a little on the slow side, but we still have a steady stream of moisture flowing in here. Um, starting to pull northward a little bit. I expect some off and on showers here around the Chico area and the northern Sacramento Valley for a little while uh, before it moves on by. Uh, I can't wait to check out the rain gauge tomorrow, see what we get overnight. Uh, as of last check earlier this afternoon, uh, we were sitting at 6.75 inches of rainfall from this atmospheric river uh, that lasted for a couple days here. So I'm sure. By tomorrow morning, that'll be well over seven inches, and that is a good soaking, folks. I had some huge, very large uh, drought cracks in the backfield here, and those are no longer. The ground is swollen up and uh, uh, very happy right now. It's like a full belly, right? Uh, the ground gets thirsty. Uh, as we look at the forecast here through the weekend and um, early next week, a, a couple minor systems heading for California. Southern California may get in on some activity as well, but uh, I don't see anything major coming like what we just dealt with. Um, for now, anyway. Uh, so, but some off and on showers here uh, through the weekend and into next week. Far as the rest of the country goes, let's see what we got here as we put this into motion. Massive cold, cold low pressure system up here, high pressure as well. Bringing in a lot of colder air out here across a good portion of the country. We're talking about temperatures. Uh, yeah, look at that. Way down, 20 degrees below the average temperatures out here. So a little taste of winter coming in here for the folks. That's going to dip down across the Ohio area, Tennessee, eastern portion of the country out there as well. So get ready. Good taste of winter coming for you guys. Roughly uh, first week of December. After that, uh, I don't know, some warmer temperatures <laughs> off and on. It's, it's uh, all over the place, and that's good because boring weather, I mean, uh, the, yeah, who wants that? I mean, some people do, but not me. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Uh, seismograph stations out there for now look pretty quiet. Not for sure why there's a couple offline, but uh, we'll have to uh, get them going. One thing I found here interesting today is that the live stream has been up here for about three weeks consistently. That's a pretty lengthy time. I haven't had anyone drop my live stream here in, the, in a couple weeks now. Before it was going off and on, off and on, but I haven't had any drop frames. Nobody messing with me. Uh, everything looks good. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but uh, I just want to throw that out there. The three weeks now, live stream with no issues going on. Eventually I got to reset my computer here, update the drivers and whatnot. So I'll have to bring it down, but uh, we'll do that in a couple days. <sighs> Aside from that, uh, any magic buoys out there? Let's see. This one up in Alaska has been doing that for a couple days. I think it's a little bit haywire. Um, yeah, not for sure what's going on with that, but it's been been a little rinky dink and it could have something to do with the uh, uh the storm systems out here recently i don't know maybe stirring up the water but if that's the case then we see all of those in some type of event mode uh, but i think that one's just a little haywire uh, aside from that uh everything looks pretty calm and clear on this planet no major tsunamis and that's a good thing right but uh oh look at that we got a little earthquake coming back here in the quiet zone been pretty quiet out here right now Starting to fill in a little bit. A little 4.4 earthquake, uh, 366 miles deep there into the uh, Tonga Trench. All right. Enjoy your Friday night. Please stay safe out there, folks. And um, uh, let's see, tomorrow's Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything this weekend or not. I think I'm just going to take it easy. Been... Uh, been uh, under the weather for a little bit I mean not really sick it's just my voice box here and it still comes up out of the blue but anyway have a good night folks take care and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for the Saturday morning update